The name David Monroe may not be instantly familiar to most, but his contributions to technology are, especially when it comes to your cell phone. Monroe died on Friday when a jet engine rolled on top of him at Port S.A., where the museum that Monroe founded is located. Pashada Pope shares Monroe's innovations and how he merged his love for technology with his love for inspiring the next generation of tech innovators. Well, David had a deep appreciation for inventors. I recently read a quote that David wrote that if you ask his mother, his mother would say he was working with technology before he could talk. Cliff Zentgraf says David Monroe is counted among those inventors who impacted the world. Zentgraf is the chief learning officer at the San Antonio Museum of Science and Technology at Port San Antonio. He calls it the house that David built. Among its 25,000 artifacts are some that Monroe influenced or built himself after a technological first drew him to the Alamo City as a sophomore in college. The first desktop PC was created in San Antonio by Datapoint Corporation, and he became an intern. Zentgraf says it didn't take long before Monroe established a reputation as an innovator. David was there as an intern at 18 months after the creation of the data point 2200. He influenced the instruction set and the microprocessor. He worked on numerous digital communications features of the data point 2200 and was instrumental in the development of data point as a company. At age 27, Monroe earned the position of vice president of R&D. His accomplishments also extended outside the company. His entrepreneurial spirit led him to create startup companies, including Phototelus. In the late 1990s, Monroe had an idea that changed how everyone around the world captures life's moments. He had an idea for a government application, and so what he did is took a camera and he put it inside of a cell phone so that someone could take a picture and very quickly transmit that picture without waiting for the opportunity to be with that phone in person. David holds the patent for the first use of a camera and a cell phone. His drive for innovation matched his drive to have children and families embrace a technological imagination. He founded SEMSAT in 2016. Zentgraf says Monroe was intentional about combining historic artifacts with interactive exhibits to push visitors to see what is and what could be. It's a part of Monroe's enduring legacy. The goal is really very simple. We're in the inspiration business, trying to inspire children and, and young adults, too, to get interested in technology. Pashada Pope, KSAT 12 News.